about you guys. I just came here to check on my indoor plants. And do you like this out? They're coming out. Literally. Oh my gosh. It's Saturday and I haven't vlogged today because I've decided to just relax a little bit, stay away from random stuff and I have some news. We thought we would be going ahead with the Norwegian forest cat. However, we discovered that the kitten that we chose wasn't a fully Norwegian forest kitten. It was like a crossbreed that was far from what we expected it to be when it would grow up. So we had to change our mind and we found a mine cone that we fell in love with and we are actually getting it tomorrow. Oh my gosh. We had to buy a lot of stuff, like a lot of cash related stuff. The most important stuff is supposed to arrive tomorrow and we'll be getting the kitten at 6.30 after the Formula 1. We'll be going all the way to Oxford to get the kitten and I'm just excited about it. And we also got the swing so in the morning we'll be setting up the swing right there. it is the saturday the sunday so it is the sunday it's actually my easter i'm off of vlogs but we are getting our kitten today getting our kitten in the evening at the moment it's 10 o'clock we're going to oxford for 6 30. we didn't expect the kitten to arrive so so early we had to order a lot of kitten stuff and it will all be arriving by 1 p.m today uh, we actually got the first box already let's see what we've got <laughs> So the first thing that arrived is the food, the most important thing, which is amazing. And we got four packs of food. I wonder how long it will last. So you know, I told you that we ordered a swingy thing that I got really excited about and it actually arrived yesterday. It was supposed to arrive on Wednesday and I'm so happy it arrived for today because it looks like it will be a sunny day. At the moment it is in this packaging and it requires some assembling. I just got my morning coffee and I do not have energy to assemble anything at this stage. By the way, I need to go to Bats at home. It's right around the corner luckily to get some last bits and pieces that we didn't order yesterday for example a kitten carrier i don't know what we were thinking but i kind of thought we'd be carrying a kitten in our hands in the car but it's an hour and a half drive and it's a new kitten and the whole thing including us will be an entirely new environment for the kitten of course we need the kitten carrier they need to be in their safe zone you know i don't know what will happen but definitely kitten carrier is a thing and i need to get it today in other news guys, I am doing well with the whole tea situation. The swelling still hurts here when I touch, but you know, I, I just don't touch it so it doesn't hurt. And my teeth don't hurt as much either. So everything seems to be going fine. It doesn't hurt. It's been a week since my last adjustment. So the only thing that truly really hurts is my cheek being ripped off because of the new brackets placed on my last molars. But yeah, the situation there is not great. I think that's why everything here is swollen. So it's not just the muscle, but also the swelling thing. Also, I've noticed that when I go to sleep, I prefer to have my mouth open for breathing because it is easier. It's been the thing my whole life. But at the same time, what I also notice is that even in the relaxed position, when I go to sleep and my mouth is closed, my teeth are like open, you know, so my teeth are open, my, my mouth is closed, and then my mouth is naturally open. And it's not the case with other people I spoke to whose bite is fine. I don't know, just really interesting thing to think of. And I'll definitely talk to my doctor about it because i don't know maybe it's something maybe it's not people keep talking about what do you call it like air insufficiencies and stuff with class 3 malocclusions and this nasal airway problems and stuff i don't know maybe i have it as well i don't know i probably do but i wonder does it bother other people so much that they have to talk about like is it like a big thing how big of a thing is it you know i'm new to it i really i really want to know i want to understand how bite degradation or bite inefficiencies all these malocclusions influence the way we breathe and how it's related to sleep apnea just want to understand these things a bit better some sun 
little thing here that we did not order. Did we go? No, we didn't. And some of uh, just some random toys that I'll show you later. I think we're good. I think I think we've done it so far. We have all the essentials. I've subscribed to Passage Home. Apparently, when you subscribe to VIP Club, you get a 10% off of all the purchases. I've saved 12 pounds. That's good because when you get a cat or a dog, it's a huge uh, financial investment. There's a lot of money going into this, so any saving is good. Okay, so I got, I got like a little this thing here and like a catnip thingy. We did order a lot of catnip toys, but this will be one of them as well, just in case it doesn't arrive by one o'clock. And you have this as well, this little duck thing. I'm gonna try and put the swing together because I'm so excited. <laughs> Through the fields of our 